What's up guys and welcome to today's video. We're going to be talking about how you can get stronger, how you can generate more power and how you can lift more weight on a week to week basis. Now a lot of the videos which I've done in the past are more catered towards hypertrophy training. So hypertrophy training is the focus on trying to grow the muscles as much as possible. Now strength training is a little bit different, similar principles apply, but this video I've put together a selection of what I believe to be the most important factors which are going to help you get stronger, okay, so how you can lift more weight. Now in no particular order, let's start off with the first point. Now if your goal is to get stronger, I would ask yourself, what lifts do you want to get stronger at? Okay, it's all well and good trying to say, oh I want to get stronger at everything, but it's too broad. Okay, you want to be more specific. Pick the exercises which you want to get stronger at. Ideally big compound lifts, okay, squat, deadlift, bench press, bent over row, and so on, okay. Devise a plan how you're going to get stronger at them. I would advise that you repeat those exercises more often than not, okay, so maybe doing those exercises twice per week, maybe even three times per week, and follow a proper strength training program which is going to help you to get stronger at them. Now you can get stronger if you follow a hypertrophy style training program, but ultimately it will get to a point where you will plateau, it's going to be very hard for you to get stronger, so that's where you should then try and implement a strength training focused program. Now there's many out there, a lot of them have the pros and cons, I'm not going to go through every single strength training approach which you can follow, but they usually follow the same principles. Lower rep range, anywhere between 1 and 5 reps. Longer rest period in between those working sets, so anywhere between 3, 4, 5 minutes. Increased tempo, so a faster tempo with more explosive movements. And generally speaking, lower overall volume, so the amount of work you're doing in one gym session is going to be less. One thing you need to bear in mind when you're trying to get stronger is you need to try and use all of your muscles synergistically to help move that weight, okay? So they're all generating power. So it's slightly different from hypertrophy training. If I'm trying to focus on building a muscle, I'm trying to think, okay, how can I place as much tension as possible on a working muscle? So for example, bench press, right? If I want to try and grow my chest, I'm trying to make my chest do all the work. But if I'm trying to get stronger at bench press, okay, I'm thinking slightly differently. I'm trying to use everything together to help try and move that weight. So it's shoulders, it's chest, it's triceps. It's even using my legs when I'm digging it into the floor to help generate that power as I push the bar off my chest. Something which is gonna hold you back from lifting more weight is if you have a weak link in the chain of the muscle groups which are working together to help move that weight from point A to B, okay? So let's say, for example, the deadlift. Your posterior chain, that's all the muscles, the backside of your body, they're all working together to help move that weight. If you have a weak link in that chain, say for example the glutes, your glutes are relatively weak compared to everything else, then you're going to be kind of stuck with how much weight you can lift. You're also going to rely upon other muscle groups doing more of the work, e.g. your lower back. And you may or may not increase the risk of injury. Now what you want to do is, if you are that type of person with a weak set of glutes, you need to do complementary exercises to help with that big lift. Okay, so whatever it might be, doing more barbell hip thrust or doing Romanian deadlifts, okay, just anything which is gonna help strengthen the glutes, that will carry forward into improving the overall execution of the big lifts and should therefore not only make it more efficient, but will help you to get stronger and lift more weight. Now when it comes to actually increasing the weight on some of these big lifts, I would do so very gradually. You don't have to whack on a massive plate each side, okay? So even if it just means putting a 1.25 or 2.5 kilogram on either side of the bar, that is still progress. Now when you're doing an overhead dumbbell press or flat dumbbell bench press, it does get a little bit more complicated because the increments in the weight goes up by quite a bit. Often it goes up in two kilograms or 2.5 kilograms. So if you're trying to take a step up from 40 kilograms to 42.5 kilograms, that's quite a lot. And for you to try and lift this new heavier weight on all of the working sets next time round, it's gonna be quite tough. So my recommendation would be, you don't necessarily have to aim to lift heavier weights in every working set which you do the following week. If you just lift a heavier weight in one or two of the working sets and aim to improve upon that over a period of time so that you know maybe over a three, four week period you actually can successfully do four working sets on this brand new heavier weight, let's say for example 42.5 kilograms, then that's going to be a much easier approach than trying to just go and make that massive leap from 40 to 42.5 in just like one week or one session. Now, if you're the type of person that likes to train early on in the morning in a fasted state, you might be asking, Mike, well, can I still make strength gains if I train on an empty stomach? And the answer is yes. Up to a certain level, you'll be able to get stronger, but it's more than likely gonna be the case that if you really do wanna get the very, very most out of your lifts and lift the heaviest you can possibly lift, maybe delaying that session to later on in the day once you've got one or two or even three meals in your system 
that's going to give you a better chance of doing so. So maybe even, you know, say for example, you got a busy schedule during the week, maybe save some of the really big lifts for the weekend when you got a little bit more time to have a lie in, get more sleep in, get more food in your system and train later on in the day. That would be my approach and my advice to you guys. If not, you still want to train fasted first thing in the morning, I'd recommend that you have a larger or more substantial meal the night before those big lifts, okay? So high in carbohydrates, sufficient in calories so that you have, you know, full glycogen stores within the muscle to help fuel that workout, or at least particularly the first half of the workout. And it may even be worthwhile having some intra-workout carbohydrates to help, you know, get a little bit more out of the session itself. Now, the big question is, can you get stronger whilst you're on a calorie deficit? And the answer is yes, technically you can do, especially if you're a beginner and you're relatively new to lifting weights, but ultimately, the rate of those strength gains is gonna plateau pretty quickly, especially if you are an advanced lifter. My recommendation would be to consume sufficient calories or even be in a slight surplus if you really wanna make the most from getting stronger and lifting more weight. Now, when it comes to doing cardio and getting stronger, do the two mix? Well, yes, you can still get stronger and still do cardio, but a lot of it really depends on the type of cardio which you're doing and how frequently you're doing it. So let's say, for example, your goal is to get stronger, yet you're doing multiple hit sessions per week, high intensity interval training, very demanding on your central nervous system. Yes, that is gonna impact your rate of recovery and it will negatively impact your training sessions more than likely. If you're just doing light cardio, such as walking, incline walking, something which isn't really gonna to be too strenuous, then it's unlikely to have as big of an impact on your strength gains. And obviously it goes without saying, the more sleep you're getting, the less stressed out you are on a day-to-day -day basis, that is gonna have a massive impact on how much weight you can lift. And I just wanna finish up and say that don't have too many conflicting goals. That is the most important thing. I see so many people, they wanna get stronger, they wanna lose body fat, and they wanna become fitter, improve their endurance. All these things, up to a certain point, is gonna conflict with each other. And particularly, the more ambitious your goals are in a particular category, the more important is that that becomes the sole or main focus, okay? Other goals need to be put on the bench for now until you've reached those goals of getting stronger and then you can focus on losing body fat and so on. So goals should always be changing, but make sure those goals are a priority. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Hopefully this video has been of some use to you and you now have a little bit of a clearer idea on what it is you need to do in order to get stronger. If you want to check out my training programs, go to www.mikepherson.co.uk. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed. See you soon.